हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ सागर चौकसी सो इन लास्ट सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड अ न्यू कांसेप्ट दैट इज एंथ्रोपोमेट्री एंड दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड इन लास्ट सेशन सो इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट अ न्यू कांसेप्ट दैट इज सेफ्टी एस्पेक्ट इन डिजाइन सो इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट थ्री टॉपिक्स फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट रिलेटेड टू एक्टिव सेफ्टी second one that uh, related to passive safety and third one that uh, related to uh, example and uh, we will also discuss the difference between active safety and passive safety right so let's start the lecture lecture number 22 that uh, related to safety aspect in design so the first and important question that is safety aspect in design so uh, first of all what is safety aspect right so when you simulate your model so there are some spare part that we uh, we will consider right so first of all there are mainly two types of safety here i have attached a one table that related to safety aspect in design right so mainly there are two types of safety first one that is active safety and second one that is passive safety right so let's talk on that move forward to next slide so the first one that is active safety so what is active safety in four wheeler or you can take what is active safety in car right so first of all first and important one that is the basic definition so here i have attached the first point that is all measure which serve to avoid the accident right we need to uh, upgrade our technology we need to uh, change our method uh, so that uh, we will reduce our accident right so first of all first and important one that is the basic definition all measure which serve to accident uh, which serve to avoid the accident so this is what the active or safety concern second point that is active safety system are that the system activated in response to a safety problem or abnormal event so this is what the active safety right first of all uh, we need to uh, consider we need to simulate our model in ansys right we need to understand different forces that acting on uh, different uh, forces that acting on that particular car or a uh, four wheeler right and based on that we will consider the different spare parts like uh, crumple zone like uh, uh, airbag right so this is what the active safety right so move forward to third point so the third point indicate such uh, system may be activated by a human operator automatically by a computer driven system or even mechanically right so this is what the active safety so let's talk on the example of active safety right so here i have attached main two example that related to anti lock braking system and second one that is the electronic stability control so this is what the active safety before accident this all criteria has been done right so this is what the active safety right in simulation we will take care about uh, different forces right uh, and uh, different uh, spare parts also so move forward to next slide second one that is Active safety, how it can be implemented. So based on accident uh, prevention, I have attached three criteria. First of all, first one that is human criteria, second one that is vehicle criteria, and third one that is environment criteria. Right. So based on human criteria, how it can be implemented. So uh, first one that is condition. Either you can take physical or you can take mental condition. Second one that is perception, and third one that is control. Control over driver, control on uh, vehicle. Right. So we can take a uh, vision. first of all uh, vision is very important second one that is braking and acceleration third one that is the comfort and fourth one that is control properties right so vision is very important right so, uh, in third point that is the environment so now how it can be uh, implemented so third one that is environment and based on that environment we can take a uh, weather condition we can take a road condition third one that is uh, traffic density and fourth one that is signaling so this is what the active safety work so in this particular active safety we will uh, take three different criteria first one that is human second one that is vehicle and third one that is environment so in this way we can explain the active safety so move forward to next slide so set, uh, next one that is example of active safety so there are many example that are related to active safety in this particular uh, slide i have attached uh, six or seven example right so first of all first and important one that is good visibility from driver seat as i discussed earlier right in human factor or you can take in vehicle factor vision factor is very important so good visibility from driver seat second one that is low noise level in interior third one that is head up display good changes balance and handling because ultimately uh, vibration and friction 
which is very important parameter so good chases balance and handling is very important right move forward to second point so second one that is anti lock braking system and electronic stability control and this is very important move forward to third point third point that is traction control collision warning and chases assist and last one that is low noise level in interior right so this is what the example of active safety right so move forward to next slide so next one that is the passive safety so now uh, what is passive safety all measures which serve to minimize the effect of accident right right so protect the occupant of a vehicle and other road user if a crash occur right it is very important third point that is reduce the impact of an accident or level of injury so this is what the passive safety so now we can talk about the example so move forward to second table second one that is a passive safety feature is a system that does not do any work until it is called to action so uh, now we can talk about the feature so this feature become active uh, during an accident and work to minimize the damage and reduce the uh, risk of injury during the time of impact so this is what the passive safety so now we can talk about the example so uh, as we discussed earlier there are crumple zone there are airbag so this is what uh, the spare part that related to passive safety right so this feature become active during an accident right during an accident this feature become active and work to minimize the damage and reduce the risk of injury during the time of impact right and uh, this is very important example first that is airbag and second one that is crumple zone right so move forward to next slide so next one that is passive safety prevention so in uh, accident prevention there are basically two types here uh, during accident and after accident right so in during accident i have attached uh, four different criteria first one that is self protection second one that is a restraint system third one that is occupant self and fourth one that is that is deformation so in after accident we will consider rescue possibility second one that is medical attention and third one that is burn prevention so this is what the uh, passive safety right so uh, let's uh, talk on example of passive safety so move forward to next slide so example of passive safety so first and important one that is uh, passenger safety sorry second one that is crumple zone as we discussed earlier crumple zone is in uh, front uh, front part of the four wheeler right second one that is seat belt and airbag third one that is laminated laminated glass and last one that is load space barrier next so this is what the example of passive safety right move forward to uh, next slide so next one that is uh, some other criteria that we will focus first, first one that is exterior safety so design of vehicles exterior control with the goal of minimizing the injury to collision partner right so this is what the uh, exterior safety so now we can talk about the interior safety so what is interior safety so design of vehicles interior and component with the goal of minimizing the injury or uh, injury to the occupant so this is what the interior safety so now we will uh, talk about primary collision so what is primary collision so collision with obstacle that is called primary collision so now we will talk about the secondary collision so now what is secondary collision impact of vehicle occupant against vehicle interior component so this is what the other factor that related to safety you can take exterior safety you can take interior safety primary collision and secondary collision so this is what the other factors so move forward to next slide so now we can uh, discuss uh, the difference between active safety and passive safety so the first thing an important point that is all measures in active safety all measures which serve to avoid the accident first of all so on the another hand on passive safety all measure which serve to minimize the effect of accident during the collision right so before uh, before collision that is active safety and after collision that is passive safety so now we can talk about the second point so second point uh, suggest in active safety that is active safety system or system activated in response to a safety problem on the another hand protect the occupant of a vehicle and other road user if a crash occur so this is what the passive safety so now we will discuss about an example of active safety so uh, there are traction control collision warning chases assist on the another end in passive safety there are passenger safety uh, safety cell and crumple 
zone. So this is what the difference between active safety and passive safety. Thank you, thank you so much. In this particular session, we have completed safety aspect in design, in which we have completed active safety and passive safety. So thank you, thank you so much.